Can you believe it's already Christmas week? I love Christmas! I love the presents, the presence of people, the eggnog, but I only have one of those. I have nobody to celebrate the holidays with, and I keep checking all my mail to see if anybody wants to spend the holiday with me, but all I get is ISP adverts and IRS letters, and nobody wants to spend the holidays with those guys. You know what? I'll host a party for people who are in my boat. The people who don't have anybody to celebrate the holiday with. The best of us for the rest of us. And I'll think I'll have everybody bring a gift that represents themselves. But what will I bring? Yeah, this'll do. Alright! I put invites out in a place where everyone can see them, and now we just have to wait for people to... Damn, already? Hey, are you here for the Christmas party? You told me to stand behind the door for five seconds and ring the doorbell. It's been ten minutes. So are you here for that or not? You said you'd raise my pay by a dollar if I did. It goes down by a cent every time you complain. God, you make me drink during the holidays. That's cool brought any presents? No! I can't afford one because of how low you pay me. Oh god, what do you do for me again? I'm the editor. I edit your videos. Ah, right, right. Hey, word. What are those in your hand? Oh, just you wait. 1992 was the year where something magical happened. Super Mario Kart drove its way onto the shelves and gave birth to the kart racing genre. The world of racing games after this wasn't the same. Now everyone wanted what Super Mario Kart had. Mario Kart is the everyman series. It's accessible, it's fun, and you can get real skilled at the game too. It's that perfect balance of skill and luck that make the game truly fun for everybody. And every Mario Kart game sells pretty well, like damn, Mario Kart was the third best selling DS game, the second best selling Wii game, though number one is a pack and title, so really, it's the first. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is just flat out the best selling game on the Switch. Though after Super Mario Kart came out, clones ensued. The issue is, people were doing these with characters nobody knew about. Like take Scunny Kart, I will give it this. It has one of the ugliest f***ing title screens I've ever seen. But what if you, as a game developer, want all of this? but you don't have lovable characters like Nintendo has, you contribute to an epidemic. Ah, so you hate them too. I didn't know you hated these. I could say the same for you. I thought you only enjoyed dog shit. Hey, I saw this ad for a Christmas event. Yeah, you missed the whole introduction. Sorry, I was selling some stuff. So, you brought a gift? I got vacation packages. For old people. Aw oh, man, I'm only 17, but I was thinking I need one in like 50 years. Oh yeah, you guys introduce yourselves. I'll go get some refreshments. Hi, Chaz Delville, professional salesman. Do you have any grandmas? No. Wait, are you a scammer? I prefer the term salesman. What do you do anyway? I edit that dope's videos. He seems like an alright guy. Maybe you're the dope. You look just like him. It's complicated. Alright guys, here you go. Speak of the devil. And you are? Elias Marsink, professional Christmas party hoster. First timer. Mars Sink. Gets me every time. What did you bring? <gasps> License card games are as close to the bottom of the barrel as you can get. And no, this does not include the Sonic or Crash racing games as those are already video game characters in a racing game. No, no, no. These games take things that weren't originally video games just to put them in little carts to race around in. The grand majority of these are shovelware, to say the least. They're made to cash in a quick buck just to have something with these characters on store shelves. There are some licensed card games that are actually good, but the ones we're talking about today are garbage. Can I sell them? If you want to make literal pennies. Dollar is a dollar, man. All right, who likes M&Ms? I could use some right now. I sold them to some kids. I don't actually have any. I just wanted to introduce M&Ms kart racing. You son of a bitch! Starting off with M&Ms kart racing, it's the characters from the M&Ms advertisements in carts. They're not supposed to do that. We're off to a great start. We got Comic Sans in the loading screen and all. And we get to see the actual title, I think, of the game, M&M's Racing Team. The font in the menus is squished together way too close. And we're off to the races. 
What, what the fuck is he doing? I think your character had a stroke. The controls are not the worst thing ever, but they feel aggravating when paired with the abysmal track design. I keep knocking into everything. The halls are extremely narrow, with half the turns in this game being 90 degree angles. You know what? Bad things always better with some friends. I only have one Wii remote. Guy, other games? Yeah, I got Paw Patrol. They made a Paw Patrol game? Moving on to the Xbox, we have Paw Patrol Grand Prix, published by everybody's favorite, Outright Games. These guys make mediocre games for little kids. Ironically, Paw Patrol Grand Prix doesn't have a Grand Prix mode. It has Adventure Mode. I guess that's the Grand Prix. I picked the dog with the helicopter. I do like Diddy Kong Racing. There's one with Diddy Kong? This game has the most extreme vibrations. Like, Christ almighty, my hands were gonna go numb if I played this more. Also, if you collect enough of these dog bones on the track, you get to use an ultimate ability. Mine does diddles from what I can see. I only played two races. The tracks are too damn long and they all look the same. It's not a horrendous game like m and kart racing, but it's also not good. The drifting is like a simulation racer. It's so finicky and so weird to use. Also, the characters just won't shut up. They say something like every five seconds and why is the subtitle box always there? Can one of us play at least? You got two controllers. You guys don't deserve to play Paw Patrol Grand Prix, damn it. Then why are you playing this? You're right. You guys want to see some Madagascar carts? What the fuck? A little known fact about me is that I have a Madagascar DVD collection. I only have one and two plus the Penguins of Madagascar show and I'm looking forward to getting three in the Penguins movie. I don't care. I kinda do. An Oscar-worthy cutscene starts us off. Like, look at this beautiful animation. I trust any game with an animated opening cutscene like this. We get a whopping five characters to start out with. All the main characters of the Madagascar series. Alex the Lion, Marty the Zebra, Melman the Giraffe, Gloria the- We get that you fucking like Madagascar, okay? So, let's start a race and- You have to unlock difficulties in this game. Why? The controls in this game are kinda off, sometimes it just spazzes out on me, causing me to turn around when I don't want to. Also, there's a neat little mechanic with drifting. Instead of drifting and immediately gaining speed, that speed builds up and you can save it for later. That sounds like a shit mechanic. It is. Luckily, if you don't want to deal with the shoddy motion controls, you can always plug in a nunchuck and play Madagascar Karts the real man's way, the way it was intended to be played. Wouldn't that be not at all? There's a stunt system where you can pull off different stunts by pressing one of the D-pad buttons in mid-air. Look at the sick combo I pulled off. That's fucking sick. There's unlockable characters too, some even coming from other DreamWorks classics like Bob from Monster vs. Aliens or Shrek from Shrek. I'm gonna try to unlock them all. I'll kill myself if I have to watch you play this any longer. Fine, we can move on to Garfield Kart. Holy sh**, you Please, have Garfield God, no. Kart? Can we kick this guy out? I fucking love Garfield Kart! Garfield Kart is a game with characters from the comic Garfield. Love that cat. I don't know, I'm more of a Heathcliff guy myself. You son of a bitch. We start with the musical definition of a mood swing. Welcome to Garfield Kart. We're gonna explain how to drive your cart before you go out on the track, okay? I don't have a license yet. Oh god, the controls are awful! This game looks horrible! I like Garfield. The drifting in this game sounds like gunshots. There's a whole customization menu with a grand selection of two whole characters at the start. Picking what character you want to play in a Garfield game is like choosing what cardinal sin you want to commit today. At the start, you only have Garfield and John, so if you didn't want gluttony or lust, well, I'm just really sorry. I picked John and I put a chef's hat on him because that's probably gonna be needed in about four years. The power-ups in this game are like Mario Karts, but botched. Like, really botched. All of you hate the blue shell from Mario Kart, right? I think I hate it. This crystal bastard is like the blue shell, but you can get it at any place. Why? There's also a magic wand that I cannot tell you what it does, even if my life depended on it. Also, John won't stop fucking laughing. Maybe he likes you suffering, you sad, sad little man. You know what? Who wants to see the sequel to this game? Yes! No! Editor boy, get it, I'm playing Garfield Kart. Agent Park PR. Is there an, uh... Elias Marsink in this establishment? Yeah, he's in that room back there playing Marmaduke Kart. It's a motherfucker. <laughs> Marsick, you're coming for me. Oh, sh 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 uh, uh, oh. You have a bathroom? Yeah. Where is it? It's over there. Where am 
my... Huh. I guess I passed out. <sighs> oh god, how long have I been walking? Huh. Ah! Uh, hello? We've been a little bit disappointed with your performance lately, Elias. We're supposed to be laughed at, not laughed with. You tried to pass us off as slightly above good enough. That's not crack a -lackin'. Well, I didn't necessarily say that you were good either. But these people don't even care about us bargain bin cart games. You got your underpaid editor and a shitty scamming salesman to watch you play us. You didn't even let them play. What kind of monster are you? A monster with dignity. People with dignity don't get punched in the face. <laughs> yeah, right. Say what now? Ah! Finally, you're up. Why are we in my bathroom? Funding. I'm Agent Parker. You know what you're in for. Uh, for having fun? Uh, Mr. Marsink, what do you know about this? Absolutely nothing. Ah! Uh, okay. I know a couple things. It's Garfield Kart on the 3DS. That's all I can really say about it. I mean, it looks like Garfield's really there. No, you fucking isn't! It's the same gameplay. It's almost the exact same game, but on this thing. I just genuinely don't know what to say about it. It has next to nothing. It's just the same game you arrested me while playing, but on a handheld now. That's all I know. What was that for? Unauthorized Christmas parties is a fucking misdemeanor. And possession of licensed cart games is a goddamn felony. You know how sick of a fucking court trial that's gonna be? I just have nobody to spend the holidays with. I wanted people to spend the holiday with. Being lonely on Christmas should be a bigger crime than this, and these cart games are my way of coping. <laughs> like drugs. I do those. Anyways. I'll let you go. Come on. We can't find you. Nothing to pin on you, so. Wait, this is my house. You should be leaving. I'm just used to an office. I'll just walk you home. Oh man, that was brutal. Even I felt bad for you. Yeah, no man should be arrested by playing Garfield Kart. But that's why you should buy this Rage Against the Machines album. That's mine. But guys, all I can say is thanks. Even though you were dismissive at times, it's really nice just to have somebody to spend the holidays with. The fact that you guys stayed here and put up with my bullshit while I talked about Madagascar carts means a lot. Just for showing up, you guys mean the world to me. I guess we can call each other friends now. You sold me on that one. If I wasn't forced to, I'd say no. But I am forced to, so I'd say yes. Thanks, guys. Oh yeah, I got you guys a couple gifts, too. Chaz, I went to the library and I printed out a list of all nearby retirement homes. Oh my god, you don't know how long I've been looking for this. And editor boy, I got you five dollars. Consider it a raise. You really are generous. And again, my name is just editor. But... What about anything for you? Ah, uh, you guys don't need to get me anything. Your presence is my presence. Your present is my presence. Your presence is my present. Third time's the charm. Actually, I left you a present. It was a rat. I really think you should check your leg. Oh, really? Yeah, it was also rabid. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! You know what? I've had a busy week. I had a party slash interrogation on Monday, I went to the hospital on Tuesday for rat bites, my court hearing was on Friday, which that just ended up being an ad for a Chinese buffet. But it's finally Christmas, and I'm content with it this year. Nothing can go wrong. Oh shit, I have presents. Penguins of Madagascar! Hey, I got you that. You really do care? Ah, uh, you know, the least I can do for such a generous pay raise. Merry Christmas. See ya. Wow. You know what? There is probably a present for me from the IRS. You have been invited to tax fraud court. Be there or be square. I'm really hoping for this one to be an Italian joint. I've been needing an excuse to go to one lately.